Hey, it's Sovereign Student here. Today I'm going to showcase a little program I created that very simply spawns some rectangles off the screen and then have them move across the screen towards each other at random areas, some random height and random size. So let's see. We have a blue and a red. Blue and red, and as you can see, the size is randomized each time. And it's actually quite pretty, if I should say so myself. And I also added, before we go through the code, let me show you. Because when you start clicking, you get this kind of pattern. It looks kind of interesting. So I added a timeline, like an animation, that runs every 0.1 second. And just spam these rectangles. And they're spawning in this area, as you can see from the top to around here. Random size, random area, but every every rectangle is using the same speed. So they're moving at the exact same speed, but... Yeah, I thought this was, this was quite interesting. But let's actually just go through how one... Because each one of them is created the exact same way, just randomized. Let's go through the code. So firstly, I have an anchor pane I created inside scene builder. I haven't used scene builder too much for this project, but it's simply an anchor pane and a button. I then have some translate transitions, which are a symbol animation that moves an object from one area on the screen to another spot of the screen. I have one for one of the squares created on the left and one of the squares, a rectangle created on the right. I then use random, which is a part of the Java util package, which allows me to get some random numbers for the random y position and random size. I then on the click on my button, create or call the reset rectangles method, which I'm going to go through, which is like the main program, and which just simply creates the rectangles, and then they start my movement from for the first rectangle moving to the right and the other rectangle moving to the left. So first I get a random height, which means like the Y position, which is just a random number, a random int between 0 and 250 for the two rectangles. I then get a random like random height of the rectangle and a random width for the rectangle. I then create the two, re two rectangles by using a JavaFX built-in rectangle object, which is rectangle, rectangle, and the rectangle of the position first x and the y position of my rectangles and then my height and my width and i just simply put my first rectangle at minus one minus 100 which means when i have this scene which is i think it's 600 by 400 up to size minus 100 which moved just right out the screen and the other one being 600 which would be just right on the other side of the screen let's actually check how big the screen is because my screen is 600 wide, so they would be summoned <laughs> summoned or created just right at the edge of the screen. Right of the edge of the screen. So, let's see, then we create, add our new translate transitions, where I just simply, for each of them, say, this transition is using this rectangle. It takes 5 seconds for the full transition to occur, and I'm moving my rectangle 700 pixels on the x-axis, so 700 pixels to the right and the other one 700 pixels to the left. And then I'm as well adding my rectangles to my anchor pane to get them to show on the screen and I'm just simply getting that a color, the red and the blue, or the blue and red, I can't remember which is which actually, but just simply add some colors by using color.web to use a hexadecimal color palette. I just very simply call this method which creates the rectangles and get them start moving. So let's have a look at it again. Click, they create it off screen and they start moving. The one moving to the right and the other one moving to the left. And just very simply when I keep clicking, I keep creating them. So this was my walkthrough of this example, which was inspired by a comment asking me to create something similar to this. I hope it was kind of what he asked for. 
And there will be a link down in the description as well to the gift where you can see all the source code. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.